At this moment, we'd like to take a brief moment to recognize one of wrestling's most dedicated ambassadors. Mr. Rob Neeson has been a Class 1 wrestling official for nearly 50 years and has offered his services at the OAC Junior High School Wrestling State Championships each of the last 20 years since its inception. He plays a valuable role in guiding and organizing all of the outstanding officials here with us today. Thank you, Ron, for your continued service to our sport. How about a nice round of applause for Mr. Ron Neeson? Our special guest is David Carr of Massillon Perry High School. David is a four-time state champion, was made the most outstanding wrestler in the 2017-2018 state tournament. He's been a two-time Ironman champion, two-time Beast of the East champion, a Super 32 champion, Fargo Nationals champion, and is the number one ranked wrestler in his weight class in the country, and he's also a cadet world bronze medalist. David will be wrestling at Iowa State University, and his advice to young athletes is to enjoy the process whether you win or lose. Your losses, they will make you better. They will make you train harder, and as David says, I always say, hard work works. So work hard and you will be successful. One of our special guests can get a nice round of applause for David Carr. <laughs> our other special guest from Metro Lake Catholic High School is Kevin Freeman. Kevin has been a three-time OHSAA High School State Champion, a fifth-place finisher at the Ironman Tournament, a sixth-place finisher at the Beast of the East Tournament, and he holds a 3.0 GPA. He plans to wrestle in college, though he is undecided on where he will be attending. His quote to all the young athletes, if you put in hard work, your hard work will be rewarded. Our other special guest, would you please welcome once again, Kevin Freeman. Congratulations to the 2018 Wrestling Scholarship Award winners. Our first award winner is Mason Cox of Brown City, Ohio. Mason is a senior at Fairfield High School, where he has a GPA of 3.44 and was named a Scholar All-American. Mason is a four-year member and captain of Fairfield High School's wrestling and football teams. He is undecided on the college, but is planning to major in exercise science one of the OAC 2018 Wrestling Scholarship winners, Mason Cox. Another one of our scholarship winners is Lane Fry of Ashland, Ohio. Lane is a senior at Crestview High School, where he has a GPA of 4.03, and is a member of the National Honor Society. Lane is a four-year member and captain of Crestview's wrestling, football, and track teams. He is undecided on a college, but is planning to major in mechanical engineering. Another scholarship winner, Lane Fry. Another scholarship winner is Gavin Grime of Archibald, Ohio. 
Gavin is a senior at Arts Hall High School, where he has a GPA of 3.60 and is a member of Student Council. Gavin is a four-year member and captain of Archibald's wrestling and football teams and is the 2018 Division III Ohio State Wrestling Champion. He is undecided on the college but is planning to major in political science. Another one of our scholarship winners, Gavin Bryan. And our final scholarship winner is Trevor Schaller of Swanton, Ohio. Trevor is a senior at Swanton High School, where he has a GPA of 4.23 and is a member of the National Honor Society. Trevor is a four-year member and captain of Swanton's wrestling and cross-country teams. He is undecided on the college, but is planning to major in accounting. Would you please welcome again one of the OAC Wrestling Scholarship winners, Trevor Schaller. Congratulations, best of luck in your future endeavors, scholarship winners, and a special thanks to Defense Soap for their support of the OAC scholarships. Right, right, Ladies and gentlemen, we now direct your attention to the tunnel. Now entering the arena are some of the finest young wrestlers Ohio has to offer. for third place. Ladies and gentlemen, this state championship tournament is no doubt special to all involved, including those of us here at the Ohio Athletic Committee. The finals fast approaching will mark the 20th anniversary of the OAC State Junior High Wrestling Championships. Many a storied legacy has been inaugurated at this very tournament. Champions from years past are now coaching the champions of tomorrow helping to instill into their successors the qualities necessary to succeed both in life and on the mat. 
The moment these young athletes have been working toward over the course of their fledgling wrestling careers has arrived. This single instant in time will reflect years of sacrifice, perseverance, and insatiable desire. Years of dedication to excellence will be summed up and measured in less than five minutes on the mat. Victors here will be rewarded with a place atop the podium and a brief respite as they rejoice at the thrill of victory. The merriment cannot last though. A true champion knows that work must resume to overcome the next hurdle, the next challenge, the next opponent, to achieve the next championship. It has undoubtedly been a trying season for all of those with us today. There have been times of spirited workouts and times of exhaustive drilling, times of jubilant victory and times of grievous defeat, times of success and times of failure. For the last 20 years, the OAC has dedicated itself to provide these young athletes a grand stage upon which to pursue their athletic endeavors. And for them, now is not the time to dwell on the past or look forward to the future. Every ounce of strength, all their willpower and fortitude, every bit of concentration and determination these competitors can summon will need to be focused on a single moment in time. That moment is right now.
and thank you. Wrestlers, please take pictures with your opponent. Wrestlers, let's clear the mats and wrestlers on the board report to the bullpen. Yeah, go ahead. We got two sets. We'll have the wrestlers and the on deckers. Oh, I guess that makes sense, right? There's five of us here, so we should have six. I got six. So we should have plenty of time to. Vinny come, yep. and then this will be Brendan and Ethan. So we're going to have Cody and Vinny first. I'm willing to bet. You will Cody be and Vinny, first. right? Cody and Vinny will be first. Who's? I didn't realize we were on the championship match. Yeah. So now you, oh, so now you have to tuck your stuff in, you ready to go? No. Well, yeah. I mean, like you're on national TV. Oh, you are, man. I'm just, I was national really lazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. You're commenting, aren't you? Yeah. Can I help? Yeah, you can do whatever you want. And this douchebag right here. Let's see. So, Vinny's going to be green. Are you sure? Yeah, it's on the screen. What if we change the colors? Oh, uh, yeah. It, we may change the colors. Okay, well. Well, I don't know. They should have a green signal. They should already be a sign. So, yeah, yeah so, you're right. You're right. Red. <laughs> but they could be wrong on the computer. <laughs> Dude, I, I just pulled out so many things. You can't you can't mess with me right now. I had to <laughs> run all that music. And then they tell me, download the song. We need the special song for the tur toss. I'm like, you couldn't have told me this four months ago when you told me I was going to be doing this. <laughs> and then I had to run here. You were scrambling, right?